it's Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. Uh, this will be a short one. I'm just going to put my signatures together real quick. So I've got these separated into piles. This pile is just straight tea dyed paper. It's been trimmed to size. Corners have been rounded. These are the sheets from the Silhouette Kit that, from Tracy's Fox that I'm using. They're uh, those have also been trimmed down and the corners, well, the corners have been rounded and all, but that's just done. This pile is what I call sort of the specialty paper um, pile. I think I've seen, shown most of this to you. Some Edith Holden, um, you know, just specialty. These are printed images. Uh, these sheets all have kind of a little something different on them. And then this is the pile that I would call the specialty. I mean, they put them together somehow, um, or they're you know very unique um, book pages, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what I how I start, and I will save the plain printed sheets for later. And I'll just stack these up over here in the corner, and like so. And I'm just going to sort of deal them out. So I'll make three piles, one for each signature. I'm just taking a look at a little bit about uh, how they're, what's on them. Like there's birds here. So I'm going to separate those into two separate signatures, that kind of thing. Not that I didn't look on the back. Oh, look, there's a bird there. Okay, so we got bird, bird, bird. Um, bird. Let's put that one there, that one there. So now we've got flower, flower, sort of flower. It's not a flower. It's not an exact science, but um, it helps me to make sure that one signature isn't all one thing and the next signature isn't something different, especially when I'm working on a book like this where it's a nature book. So I've got birds and flowers and greenery and butterflies. And so I want to spread that as evenly as I can across the book. Okay, so this is the next group. Um, we will put, how about one at the beginning and one in the end. And then we'll put this pretty in the middle. And then here we've got, what is this? That's a tree. We'll put that at the end. And that is a flower. And we'll put those like that. Okay, the next section, this is the specialty stuff. I think I want this um, dead center of the book just because I think that's gorgeous and that'll be kind of a fun centerpiece. So we'll put that in the center, center one. And I like putting, this is a heavy, this is thick and heavy and I think it'll work nicely in the back of the book. Since this is so similar, we'll put this one in the front of the book. And then we'll put some Edith in the middle. And let's see, we'll put this in the back. Okay, so now we've got, got this pocket folder in the back and this is another folder piece. So I'm going to put that in the front. And this folder piece also has a tree image in it, just like that sheet does. So we're going to put that one in the front. Then we'll put one of these in the center and one in the back part. That's a small signature and so is that. So we'll put that in the front. And we'll do one of each, one of these in each. And then now I'm going to kind of do some counting. I want each of my signatures to roughly be the same. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll put a clear one that puts nine in there, or not clear, blank. Uh, then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Okay. 
And now visually, I know I've got these pretty butterflies here in the front. So let's do like that. And then we'll add an extra, I like that one. Okay, the die. We'll have an extra blank one here in the front. And so now I have 10, 10 uh, leaves, is what they're called, in each of my stacks. And each stack will create a signature in the book. So I hope that makes sense. I may change my mind as I'm actually putting them together. And now I'll go into each signature and I'll put them in an order um, of how I want the pages to appear. For example, these three are all short. I don't want, I don't think I want all of them right next to each other. And what do I want my first page to be? I think I'm gonna start each signature with one of the silhouette sheets just because it is awesome. And this will be a really good one to start with. So let's make this our opening front page. I like the idea of moving right into, yeah, I like the idea of moving right into, oh, that's short, that might not work. Let's flip that. Let's start off with this little beauty here. Nope, don't do that either. Um, here we go, let's start this way. Yeah, that works. Let's start that way with that little guy there. And that's too busy. I think I like the idea of something plain being next to this one. So let's put a plain one in there. And then we can move to, hmm, let's move to this. Yeah, that's pretty. And I like, I think, I think that'd be fun. Yeah, yep, that'll work. And then, let's see, what's on this one? Okay, hmm, what do I wanna do next? Let's go with this one. And then that'll be pretty against that paper. Oh, no, I want this to be in the dead center because that's a cool center. So let's flip this around. Let's put that one there. And then we can do this one. And then we can do this one. And this one. Does that work? No. That does. But let's flip these. Do I like that? I do, I like the way that presents. Okay, and I may move these up and down and around and sideways and all that good stuff. So, now I have something that looks like this for my first signature. And I think that's kind of fun. And that's pretty, yep. And then they'll close afterwards. So I'm good there. Yeah, good. Okay, signature one, done. All right, next signature. I'm gonna start off with one of the sheets. I think I want to do this one. And then let's see, let's put this one early on because, nope, that's gonna stick out. Let's do this, plain one, and then this one. Yep, 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 I like that. And then perhaps, no, I don't like the way that presents. Let's put our dictionary page in here. I pulled the dictionary page for the word black. I thought that would be kind of fun. <laughs> um, let's see, this is the one I want dead center. So let's put your short guy in here. That'll be pretty. And then this one. That'll be nice. And then let's do this one. Yep, 
like that. I like the idea of this being next to this. That might be a little much. Hmm. No, I, I think that that'll be okay. I'll put a, a big old pocket or something there. So I think that'll work. And then, we'll put, oh no, this is not the one I wanted in the center. This is the wrong, what to do with it? There it is, let's flip that over. This is the one I want in the center. Yeah. Okay. So, let's do that. Ta-da! Okay. And that would be signature number two. Let's see if I, we'll flip through and we'll see if we like it. We have to do some pushing down. I think actually I need to do some switching here. This needs to be in here a little earlier on because it's so thick. It needs to be closer to the back half of the signature. Otherwise it's called, it's called push out. Um, it's where with each leave that gets added in, it pushes them further out. Um, and so my thicker, fatter stuff, I want to kind of put closer to the, closer to the outer grouping. All right, and then we'll do a skinny. And we still like that. And then let's do, let's do that. And then this. I'm okay with that. And then this guy. Well, actually, let's see. See, this is, I th I'm overthinking. I am absolutely overthinking. No question about it. I'm not sure if I like what's going on there. Um, let's see if I like this better. No. Let's try this. Yeah, I like that. Here we go. I think now we're good. We got something going on here? Yep. I like that. And I like that. Okay. Now we're in business, I think. And we're here. And then here. Okay. Liking that. Liking that. You notice my pages are all different sizes. I like that, that's intentional. Um, in this particular case, because the journal kit is slightly different size than what my final journal will be, these pages from, um, from the Silhouette kit are a little shorter. They're not as wide. That's fine. Um, I have a plan for that, and I'll show you what I do to kind of finish that off. Okay, next, next, last but not least, I like that one, and let's just dive right into some wall, um, and I think, let's see what I got here, does that look, do I like that? I do kind of like that, I kind of like how that pokes back out there. Let's put some fatties in here. Yeah. That's good. And let us sing a song. And then let's do some short ones. A couple shorties. That's fun. Edith. Love my Edith. Which I will... I'll do some fun things there. And then my center spread. I'm not sure I want plain guys on my center spread. So let's take another look at what might be kind of fun. Um, actually, I kind of like the idea of that being in the center. So let's regroup here. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. And here we go. Two. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not loving that. Or that. All right, let's go here. And let's do. <laughs> and if all else fails, there's nothing wrong with starting over. There we go. Yep, I'm happier now. Okay, let's see what we got here. Of course, this isn't straight, but we'll, we'll fix that later. Mm. Yeah, okay. I like it. Okay, there we go. Signatures are all ready to go. And I'm happy with what I've got going on so far. Looks like I've got one or two sheets that I'm gonna come back in and trim that might just be flat out. I may have measured them wrong or they're just in a, in a bad spot, but I will do that eventually. Um, obviously, I will probably do that actually before I, um, before I come back and do much more. So we'll deal with that and we're ready. Okay, next step is to come back to these now and I'm, I will go sort of one at a time and I'll go through and add my trim if I'm going to, um, pockets. It's a lot easier if I'm gonna do any sewing, now's the time to do it. It's a lot easier to sew stencil. If I have any stenciling I wanna do, I will do that now as well. A lot, lot, lot easier to do all of that now. And then at that time, I will also very likely rearrange some of the pages. It is quite possible. So there you go. Until we meet again. Thank you. And oh, by the way, if you're watching this series, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you. Bye.